Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally doing the walkthrough of our new camper. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is our new Flagstaff E-Pro 15TB. 15 means the box length, so 15 feet uh, from the front of the box all the way back. And then the TB is twin bed. So super small unit, um, not a huge upgrade in size from what we had, but it is huge as far as the height goes because we can stand up in this one finally. So I'm gonna go do a full walk through this guy, walk around, show you everything. And uh, yeah, let's just get at it. On the front of the camper, this is way different than what we've been used to. This is a power tongue jack. This is connected to the battery so you can actually extend it, retract it with battery. It does have a um, bike rack that goes on the front. You can see that sitting over here, but uh, I keep whacking my head on it. So I just took it off. Not sure I'm gonna use it or not. It does come with two batteries from the dealer. I actually have changed this out already. You will see that on a future video. Um, we've already installed a weight distribution hitch um, as well as we just have our tongue lock and stuff there. There is a neat little light on the front so you can see if you're working out here. Um, the tongue jack also has a light. If you just flip that on, you can see there's a light right there. That's kind of neat. So this is tall enough to where you have to have marker lights. There's marker lights up at the top. It does have marker lights down the side as well. Underneath the passenger side, we have a gray and black water dump. So this thing only has 12 gallons of both. Hopefully, you know, that won't be a problem for us. I don't see us using the black tank much, but we'll see. Um, it does have four stabilizer jacks, so one on each corner, which is super nice. Usually these small trailers, they don't have them on the front, but this one does. This is not levelers like you see on our Escapade camper, but it does uh, stabilize it really well. Um, there's also a hose holder to hold a uh, black water or a drain hose um, so you can store it under there instead of it being in a bumper. This comes with the off-road package. So you'll see the knobby tires, 15 inch wheels, and then it has a sort of independent suspension. It's a um, torsion axle. So it does have an axle that goes all the way across. Do you have an outside shower here? So you'll see, um, this will be good for like washing the dog off and stuff. And then if we do wanna take a shower, we have a shower tent that we can set up here as well. And see, this is a problem I had. We picked it up, the hose gets in the way. Here is our power hookup. This is a 30 amp connection. It does have cable satellite hookups uh, for the TV that's inside. We'll show you that in a little bit. This is a city water connection here. So if we camp somewhere with water, we can hook it up. And then a winterizer inlet. It's got a little antifreeze inlet. So that'll make it easy to winterize the camper, which it is right now. There is a six gallon water tank, a hot water tank. Um, you'll see there it's run on a gas and 12 volt. The 12 volt is just to ignite the propane. But uh, yeah, water heater may change that later for a tankless, we'll see. And then we have a water fill up for the tank that's on here. I think it's um, like 30 gallons, 35 gallons, something like that. You'll see another marker light there. And then there's one of those stabilizer jacks. It does come with a ladder. So this is an, this um, detachable ladder is an optional piece. Um, and the roof rack, let's just climb up. Ugh. So this has an optional roof rack. You can see it right there. So maybe a cargo box or we can stick another solar panel on there. There's an AC and then there's our solar panel. It's really dirty there. It is prepped for a backup camera. There is a storage box that goes all the way underneath, which is super nice. Um, you do have to take this ladder off to get to it. LED tail lights. You can see the marker lights up there as well. On the driver passenger side, that was the driver's side. 
on the passenger side this is another access point to this storage area here we'll open that up in a second there is a track here so you can put that comes with a griddle as well as a table which is cool there's outlets there and then the outlet for the um, furnace you'll see this awning that goes up and over this is a power awning so no more manually putting out the bat wing and stuff so that's really nice there's a porch light as well as a single speaker we'll probably never use it doesn't sound very good we'll just use our JBL um, flip speaker deal let's open up this storage cubby show you in there and it does have these magnetic latches which is really nice so you see all the way back there there's that other door and there's a couple of mods I've done here I'll show that in a later video to get everything to fit in here because they have these like corner pieces to cover up wiring so I'll show that in a later video but yeah that goes all the way back under the bed and then it goes forward I don't know maybe another two or three feet that way so we can fit all of our stuff in here so our griddle table uh, grill and uh, chairs stuff like that so kind of a nice area for all that stuff all right guys let's go inside you'll see the door handle has a keypad here to run on batteries I haven't set that up yet probably do that here sometime soon so here's the door it does have a screen door which is like my favorite thing ever um, so we can if we are on a warm day and we want to be inside we can still have this uh, screen door there which is super cool there is a window in the door door does have a shade the crappy part is that it's behind the screen so keep that in mind I guess a lot of people have flipped this shade so you can close it that way so you still have some light coming in but privacy on the bottom part okay let's go inside You'll see some materials and stuff laying everywhere. I'm still kind of modifying this thing, but there's a little kitchen in the front. So it's got a three burner stove, microwave, which I might pull out to make another cabinet. You'll see a cabinet there. This should be the same size. So I might get some doors to put there, get rid of the microwave. There's a couple of drawers down here. They're not very big, but you can see they hold some, uh, like cooking utensils and stuff. That's easy to get to if you're cooking outside. Here's our three burner cooktop. And then here's that panel. I'll show you that in a later video, but this goes under that storage area in the back. There is, it comes with this like roll dish drainer thing. And then a huge sink, big old sink in here. And we just have our stuff. We're not like totally set up the way we want to be. So that's why stuff's kind of laying everywhere. There's a little light there so you can see while you're working. A little storage area right above the kitchen. And then above that, there's a max air fan. So that's super nice. We have this in our escapade and that thing moves so much air, even in this camper. See, there's lights all the way through here. Um, there's a main control panel so you can turn all of them on or on and off or they have buttons on each one Pretty handy You'll see there is a shower door. So this is super interesting because this is such a small camper, but oh, there's a lock But there is a shower toilet combo Not sure how much I'm gonna use this. We'll see <laughs> but I mean it's kind of cool. I've never had this before um, there's a little push light here and then a fan you just push this thing like the handle push it up that opens the vent and you can turn that fan on pull it back down shut that off um, there is a storage cubby in here for like toiletries and stuff and again it's on a magnetic deal the one thing about this area so this is like empty and I've seen somebody put a cabinet in right here. It might be something I do later on, but 
um, yeah, you can reach your hand all the way up in there. And there's tons of storage here that you can't really get to right now. But there's still good storage there, and it has a rubber gasket here so you don't get water in there when you're showering. So we'll go ahead and shut that off. Oh, and it does come with this, like, shower caddy deal. You can turn your hot water on and flip this little lever that's down here, and then it'll run the hot water through here back into the holding tank, and then this will turn... Uh, colors when the hot the water is, here is hot so you don't have to waste water warming up your shower next to the shower is the magic chef 12 volt fridge i've had to mess with this thing so much uh so far i finally got it i think but um, this runs on 12 volts only so it'll run off your converter if you're plugged in as well as your battery so pretty neat, it does have a freezer. I plugged this in not very long ago and uh, this thing's already frozen. Then there's a little light in there and I put a bunch of LaCroix in there just so this fridge would cool down. But right now, see I haven't, it's like 50 degrees or something. It hasn't been on very long, but so basically this thing, I can show this later, but um, you can take the thermostat off here and adjust it so it gets colder in the fridge. I had some problems with that, but it is working properly now. Under the fridge, there's two drawers. These are actually pretty good size. You can see we can fit a bunch of stuff in there. This is all the stuff we pulled out of the escapade. We're not sure if all the storage is correct yet, but there's another big drawer there. And then straight across here, is the furnace and then that drawer is kind of difficult these are full depth drawers unlike those ones under the sink and then this silverware thing comes with the camper we're not going to use it but uh get, or we're not going to use it for silverware i'm using it for uh, tools and stuff like that and then uh there's another one we put some baskets and stuff in there and you gotta make sure you got your beer koozies Next to that is the little control center. So here's where we turn the lights on. Um, there's a, that porch light, that orange one I showed you out there. Um, there's an awning light. So there's actually a strip light. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a strip light that goes along the whole awning. And then there's a little step light, which is kind of neat. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a step light next to the door. Comes with the fire extinguisher. Then the rest of them, so we have our electric awning, uh, water pump, water heater. Uh, I guess it does have electric on the water heater, so you could tell it to run off gas or electric. And then um, this is the tank heater, so the gray water tank and the water holding tank actually have heating pads on them. So if you're camping in colder temperature, you can turn that on and it will... Uh, warm those up. Over here are our um, little buttons to see if the black and gray tank are full. We haven't used those yet. I forgot to show you too under the sink. So there's an outlet. Um, this does have a built-in inverter. All the outlets in here are wired to this inverter which is super nice. Um, it's only a thousand watts so not sure I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it unless we upgrade it but it is nice to have. Outlet and then a little tilt down for sponges and whatnot underneath the sink. This is where actually we put all of our silverware um, in a little drawer thing. And then we got a couple of pans in here. This is not too big. That's why I want to take this microwave out. This microwave is, you know, if, you, if you're looking at this camper, um, it is a convection oven, convection microwave as well. So if you want to bake something, technically you can. You got to be on shore power for that. And, uh, you know, honestly, I'm not sure if it's wired to this inverter. I have no idea. But anyway, um, yeah, convection, if you, if you want to use it. I'll probably never use it again, like I said. So we'll probably take that out and make some more storage out of it. All right, let's move along. So up around the bed, you'll see there's tons of storage. So two cabinets here, a couple of open cubbies there for like bedding and stuff and then three more cubbies here 
So one thing I'm gonna modify are these doors because I keep whacking my head on these things. So I'm gonna modify these so they open up. Um, again, future video, stay tuned for that. But I mean, we still have tons of room up here. Dog bed, extra blankets, um, some extra jackets and stuff. I mean, it goes back in there. You can see there and we've got some of our kitchen stuff like plates and coffee mugs and stuff like that over here still again i mean we have nothing here and then this is all shoved back in there we've got some ponchos and stuff dog toys and then just some games we got our first aid kit but there's still you know look at all the space we haven't used Over here is the thermostat for the furnace. This is gonna get changed out. Watch again for the next video on that. This is the solar charge controller that comes with the camper. Um, it's a go power. Um, it can do AGN, lithium, whatever you want it to do. There's another GFI outlet there. The windows are nice. Uh, they come with these roller shades. Pull it down and they'll slowly go up. So this window is a little different because it's the emergency exit, but just push that out. This one opens up the most because of the emergency exit portion. The other ones, so like this one, you have to turn this and it'll open up. And that is about as far as it goes. I've seen people modify these to open it more. We'll see if we need that at all. The back is a little different. So it has two windows, one here, one here. So it's a split deal. And yes, they still open with the uh, with the ladder there. So that's nice. Down at the bottom, this is a, another um, access to the storage area that's underneath that I showed you earlier. So you can pull stuff out of here if you need it. And then over on the other side is the converter where all the fuses and breakers and all that stuff are. So right now it's set up in twin bed configuration. I've got so much junk in here, but uh, there's a twin bed on each side. There's a little table in the middle Th to be an actual, and these aren't actual twins. These are more like um, cot size. So they're, 30 by 74, 75, 30 by 75. Um, you can take these two cushions off the back, same thing there, and then um, make them into a basically a twin size. Um, also, there's a table that goes in the middle. This table that comes with it is so freaking heavy and awkward to set up in here. I'm not sure how often we're gonna use it, but you use that table to put in the middle, then you can scooch these together and make it into like a king size bed. We may use that in the summertime since we're gonna be um, cooking outside, eating outside. Um, the only time I think we'll ever use a table is uh, you know if it's ungodly hot out or just pouring or crappy outside. So anyway, we'll see. I might set that up here in a second just so you can see. There is an air conditioner unit up top um, as well as a couple of speakers. And that's another modification I had to do. So here's the radio. For whatever reason, this company, so Flagstaff or Rockwood or whoever, they're the same company. They put this radio in and they wire both these speakers to a single channel on this thing. And they ground it wrong. So they sound awful from the factory. And then they cut the wires short makes no sense so i went in here and fixed it so that we get stereo left and right there um and then you can see it turn on there it's not on a radio station but um this is connected to the tv below it so this tv has hdmi inputs on it we just use our ipad or iphone i got this little adapter and then it's got an hdmi there and you can charge it at the same time. So the HDMI goes to the TV, then we can watch our iPhone, um, you know, Netflix, 
downloaded shows, whatever, right on the television. We usually use an iPad because we're not like TV people, but since it's here, um, it does play through the radio, which is super cool. And then this is on a swiveling mount, which is actually pretty tough, but you could pull it out pretty far. Not quite to where you could see it outside, but you know, if you flip that door around, you could watch TV. But it, it is nice, you can pull it out. I'm not a huge fan of their, their wire management here. I might clean some of that up with some Velcro. But it's got some audio outputs and stuff that go up to the radio. Okay guys, I'm gonna set this up. Let me get everything out of the way. And I'll show you how much of a pain this table is and we may do again another future modification on this table to make it work a little bit better for us nothing like modifying a brand new camper okay so oh this thing is super heavy so it's got these legs here that you un velcro this and then they just fold out like so show you how that works so imagine if you had somebody in here <laughs> so you can fit four people here but you see how close it is to like it's not very tall i wish it was a bit taller alas it is not but we may be able to modify the legs here to make it a little bit taller. You can fit four people, but uh, you know if you if this this person needs to go to the bathroom, uh, you know, pretty much everybody's got to get up, or you know you got to tilt this thing to get out of it. You know, not a huge deal, I guess, because I'm not sure we're going to use it a whole lot. My idea and. To be fair, this is not my own idea. Somebody else came up with this. Leave this leg up and you shove this thing all the way back and put a support back here. So this of course would be if it's just us two. But it gives you tons of room to get out and about. We can still use this as twin beds if we you know want to go that route you have access always have access to the table so you don't have to take it down put it up you know every time that's what's nice about this unit is we can leave twin beds set up just leave the sheets there so we don't ever have to make the bed over and over if we don't want to um, most of the time we'll be spent outside in the summertime springtime stuff like that but when we go camping in the fall maybe even in the winter we we'll want to keep the bed set up and then still have a table here because we'll want to eat inside when it's freezing cold or raining out if we ever get rain again all right so i'll show you how the table sets up into uh, a king bed so again this thing super heavy and awkward like the legs are just all over the place So those just Velcro together. Oh. And then there's some table supports. There's some table supports next to the uh, seating area. And then you just take these and close them up. So then we can take these, scooch them in. And then the side ones come down. So this makes a huge bed. You can lay this way. It's actually bigger if you lay east to west like this. I mean, <laughs> you can fit three adults here, no problem. You know, we got the dog too. I think we'll lay north-south. So this direction, if we set it up this way, if you gotta get up to go to the bathroom, you don't have to crawl over each other, so. All right guys, that was the walkthrough of our 
ePro 15TB. If you're in the market for one of these, it's super cool. Um, if you want a small camper that can be towed by, you know, mid-sized trucks, mid-sized SUVs, something with probably 5,000 or more pounds of towing capacity, this is the right trailer for you. Super cool. Tons of room to stand up in, tons of room to sleep. You know, super versatile. I've seen some people make this into a full-size bed this way and still have a small dinette. So if you don't want to take up, take down, uh, and you still want to use the same bed as your partner, this is great. You know, it doesn't have as much storage as I thought it would. All the stuff that's in here came from our small escapade uh, teardrop, square drop camper, and it all fit in there just fine we had a hard time figuring out where to put things in here because it's laid out kind of weird you did see we did have some leftover storage a little bit up above but that's about it i mean this does not have you know exponentially more storage than a small teardrop camper so keep that in mind i guess you know if you take out that microwave then you know you will get more storage that way and there's some fun little storage hacks you can do, like another shelf above the sink, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, other than that, you know, from the factory, there's not as much storage as I thought there would be. As far as pulling it with a mid-sized truck, super easy. I've pulled this with the Frontier. We haven't gone camping yet, but I pulled it from the dealership to our home and it pulled super easy. Uh, I would recommend maybe just installing a weight distribution hitch yourself. I paid them a hundred bucks to do it and I had to redo it twice because uh, it wasn't done right. Um, I'm not going to say what dealership I got it at, but I don't know. I mean, maybe your dealership does better at that than, than what mine did. But anyway, there's going to be more in-depth videos on this camper because we're going to be taking it out here soon. Um, I do have another video coming out next, should be next week. We'll see about modifying the twin battery setup on the front since the battery box that comes on this cannot fit uh, larger AGM batteries or lithium batteries, you have to stick with group 24 unless you upgrade the battery box. So stay tuned for that one. Um, I've already recorded it. I just need to get it edited and whatnot. So um, that'll be up um, next video after this. So watch for that. There will be lots of modifications on this camper. We've got a lot of things we want to do. Nothing wrong with the camper. There's just some cool little tricks that we want to do here. Modifications, things like that. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for our adventures up in the mountains, around hopefully the country. I don't know, we'll see if we can make it, being with work and all. But um, thanks guys for watching. Please hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.